Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the forecast and to bring out your Minneapolis Fighting Lions. At three safety, a 5'10", 160-pound senior, number four, Joe Zucker. At defensive tackle, a six foot, 180-pound senior, member of the Queen's Court tonight, number seven, Alex Resnick. Outside linebacker, six foot, 150-pound senior, number eight, Jamie Smith. At defensive end, a 150-pound senior at six foot even, number 13, Dominic Martin. At quarterback tonight, a senior, he stands 5'10", 170 pounds, number 24, Ryan Mortimer. At the other quarterback spot, at 5'10", 170 pounds, he's also a senior, number 28, Jeff Boeing. At the other outside linebacker, a senior at 6 foot 1, 165 pounds, number 30, Tanner Pichol. At middle linebacker, at 6 foot even, 200 pounds even, he's a junior, number 44, Cody Moody. <laughs> Another defensive end spot. Six foot three, one hundred seventy pound junior, number forty seven, Jeff Crosser. At the other middle linebacker, a six foot senior at two hundred fifteen pounds, number fifty four, Randy Torres. And the other defensive tackle spot at six foot, one hundred eighty pounds. He's also a senior, number 66, Jonathan Schmidt. This storm team is being coached again this year by head coach Nate Wallenberg. He's assisted by John Darrow, Lance Vernon, activities director and assistant coach Terry Meckel, and 18-year line coach veteran Jeff Giles. The Lions come into this game three and one overall, two and one in the NCAA. Seventh rated by the Slime Journal in the state, I believe, for red, and uh, in the top 15 via the Topeka Capital. Are taking orders for shadow boxes that you can see down on their table just inside the main gate. Great looking shadow box. We're looking to forward to a good game tonight with the Ellsworth Bearcats here at homecoming or Christmas time. Go check them out between now and the end of the ball game. Also, the food service management class selling apple wedges with homemade caramel sauce just north of the concession stand. And here come your Lions, ready to play the game. They are second, tied to second in the league with uh, Beloit behind Southeast of Saline. Local winners of the punt, pass, and kick contest. But the big event coming up at halftime will be the progressive kick for the brand new 2005 Pontiac Five, sponsored by Benavada Flex, Minneapolis. They're going to give away a chance to win this Pontiac Five. Go to the and there's a few minutes left for kickoff. Group, you got anything to say? Good evening, Dale. Good evening, today. Good to see you. Last week was our beautiful weather week. This week, a beautiful day, but windy again. Mm -hmm. Although I think the wind is going to die down this evening, but a uh, little, little cooler. It has died down tonight. significantly in the last hour. Probably ideal for uh, temperature-wise for the football players. Oh, yeah. Love to play football in this kind of weather. Not too cold, not too hot. Well, coming into this game, you have to you have to think that we're heavily favored here. Ellsworth having not won a game, isn't that correct? That's correct. And, uh, and they've been beaten rather handily in every one of them. So not wanting to look past anybody, but shouldn't be much of a test. Well, you know, I've 
stated to a few people and thought to myself very significantly that uh, unless our guys come out and think they have the game won before the first whistle is blown, no use trying to show up, or unless the coach puts the B team in halfway through the first quarter, it ought to be a blowout. <laughs> Well, you just, know, just based on how things have gone for both teams this year, uh, but you, you got to line up, play the game. You know? Of course, not dismissing Ellsworth. Uh, they've certainly had some good teams over the years, but you, you'd hope that this is a week that we can get healed back up. Yep. This is week five, heading into the, uh, of course, next week is Lions, and then we'll start district play, I believe. That's, that's right, correct. Dale. Uh -huh. And so you would hope that tonight, and, and Lions hasn't had a very good season, you would hope that these two weeks would relatively be a week off you wouldn't you wouldn't expect or hope to see you would hope not to see any injuries any further injuries we've already got a couple of guys that are not going to play again tonight gives us a chance maybe to heal up yeah we need to get as many of those bodies healed back for the playoffs as we can booster club table and again buy those raffle tickets again what a great gift for christmas I would fully anticipate there'll be a lot of statistics added on to tonight and or records broken if things go the way I think they will. But again, you got to line up and play the game. Our umpire is Richard Seeker from Russell. The linesman is John Buckner from Salina. Of interest tonight, uh, besides our own local players, a uh, 1971 or 72 graduate of the MHS, Kevin Kennedy, has a son that's a senior for the linebackers tonight, number 11. He looks like a pretty decent kicker this year. He was lined up here earlier kicking field goals into the wind, no problem at all. So if they get an opportunity to do some kicks, it'll be interesting to see what he can do. He's also down as playing in the defensive backfield and as a receiver. And he's number 11, one of the two captains for the Bearcats. Ellsworth has won the toss and they defer. Ellsworth the won and declined. Deferred. The Lions will receive. They'll defend the south goal and go into the win. The Bearcats take the win at their back to start the game. So here we come with homecoming for the Lions. Probably the game around the league that would be of interest would be the Sacred Heart Ru uh, Russell game tonight. Might be pretty evenly matched. I uh, yeah, it might be. I I think Russell ought to take care of them, but uh, who knows? I don't think they're going to walk all over them, but I think they'll be able to beat them. Tell you what, Sacred Heart's passing game is improving every week. You look at their stats, and last week they were in the red zone, I believe, four times denied. Phil hasn't started yet. But I don't think their defense has improved much, which is one of the big problems. That's Kansas City. Score all the points in the world. If you can't stop the other team, you're in trouble. You want to un untangle Trace of Spaghetti there? We're now joined by veteran announcer Tracy Creek. Good to see you, Trace. Thank you, Dave. Glad to be here. I've Old been with me night. I understand that uh, during the halftime festivities, they're going to try to give away a car. Is that right? Yes. If you, if one person can kick a field goal from the they aren't going to try very hard. In the 45-yard line, they can <laughs> win a car. Uh, how easy does that sound? <laughs> Easier than it is, I think. Back to your key city kickoff for Schmidt and Mortimer for the Lions. Mark Kennedy lined up to kick off. A short kick taken by Moody. So the Bearcats are going to try to go for some tomfoolery here, get the ball early, but no deal. Cody Moody handled it cleanly. Gets the ball at the 43-yard line of the Lions, where they'll take over first and 10. Was that by design, Dale? Yes. They well, didn't even start the clock. Interesting idea. I guess if it works, it makes you look good. Yeah. If it doesn't work, why, well, you don't look so good. They run you out of town. <laughs> first down, 
Wishbone formation again here. Smith is the quarterback. Hand off to Mortimer, tries the left side. Off tackle, gets up to the 49, possibly. Just over the 48. Tackle made by number 66. Make a second five. Gary, a 5'9", 237-pound sophomore on this Bearcat. Got a second and five. Gain of a long five yards by Mortimer. Second and five. Wishbone formation again. Smith is the QB. And off the board, we're trying the left corner. Cuts it up. Over. He's taken, gets over the 50 to the 40. Five yard line of the Bearcats. Move the chains, first and 10 for the Lions. Two plays, first down, that's okay. Well, last last week, I don't remember what it was. It was two plays, 98 yards or something like that. They were slipping. Oh, going backwards. 11 minutes, 12 seconds left. Open quarter. They are Doring with the carry. He gets possibly a first down. I think he's gonna be a little short, Dale, but you're right, he's close. He's gonna be up six inches short. Nice gain on the play of about nine yards. Ball would have to be on, touching the 35 yard line to be a first down. Nine and a half yard gain for. We're moving at wheel. Jeff. Second and short now after the fine gain by Doring. And off the Knox over left guard. He's free, he's rumbling, he's going. And he's gonna be in for the touchdown. Lions six, Ellsworth zero. What was that, a 30 35 yard, yard run? run? Dale. He could have run in the rack. That there is a, if he'd had the that is a it, four then. play, uh, 57 yard drive. I'll tell you what, Arm tackling isn't going to get it done. Nope. We did that in a minute and 43 seconds. Like I said, there's going to be a lot of stats up padded to tonight. A few records added on too, maybe. Doring oh, up the yeah. center. And Momentum. he's got the two. It's now Lions eight. Ellsworth zero with 10 17 to go in the first quarter. There goes fireworks. I'll tell you what. It's going to take a lot of fireworks tonight. I'll tell you what, he might break the bank on this one. Oh, I think they got plenty of inventory to draw on. <laughs> Kevin may have to cut out early and start plating tonight. Yeah. I thought we were going to be inside by homecoming, someone had told me. I, I didn't ever say that. You didn't say that? No. Tell me no. That. Somebody did. Wasn't me. I hope we're inside before the season's over. Yeah. Well, that's what we have to hope for now. Eight to nothing, Lions lead. Who converted that PAT? Doring. Knox, after the touchdown run, will tee the ball up and resume his kicking duties as Minneapolis gets set to kick off to the Bearcats. Squid kick, taken at about the 30, 25 yard line. Oh, he went down. Tackled by several lines at 35. You're right about that arm tackle and whoever those group were tracing, that ain't definitely not gonna arm tackle Knox. No, it just isn't gonna work. No, that won't cut the cake. That was, uh, they, they tackled Mortimer down here on an arm tackle, and I thought to myself when I saw that, I thought that's going to not work out very good for him. Double slot. One goes in motion to the left. Fullback dive. Gets a couple yards, maybe three. Were they throwing back? Torres and Schmidt are involved. Nine minutes, 55 seconds left, opening quarter. Wrapped up in there by Randy Torres, number 54, and Josh Schmidt. 
Oh, Kennedy is the quarterback tonight. Now, he was listed as a wide receiver cornerback, but he is the QB. Kennedy boys quarterback, you say? Uh-huh. Number 11. Oh, fumble. He keeps it, tries left guard. No gain. Should make a third and seven. Ah, uh, gave him a yard. Mark Kennedy on a keeper, number 11. I was watching him kick earlier for the proceedings, and he was kicking some good ones into the wind down here. He's got a good leg on him. Third and seven. Third and a long six for the Bearcats. Kennedy keeps it, rolls left, pitches on an option. And the pitch out. Tackle by Pischer. Yes, Tanner Pischel is initial hitter and took him down. No gain. Randy Torres with a loss of a half a yard, possibly. It's going to be fourth and six coming up for the Bearcats. Ellsworth to punt the ball. That even hurt my foot. Uh oh. Nope, gets by the receivers. Schmidt picks it up. Comes left. Cuts up the field. Go. Oh. Well, they made about 20 yards back. It gets up to the 20 yard line, I believe. Went right between Mortimer and Schmidt. The good bouncer. Bouncing awkwardly there. A dangerous ball to try to catch. And he was. Tackled by Brad Barton, number 19, after the punt. And they're on the 19-yard line of the Lions to start this drive. First down, Minneapolis. Eight minutes left, first quarter. From their own 20-yard line. Yep, I missed that. Ball carrier was Jamie Smith. Up through the middle. Nice run by Jamie. I didn't even see that he wasn't the quarterback there. Double made by Ben Cruz, number 22. Gain of eight. Second two coming up. On the game. Second and short now for Minneapolis. Uh-oh, fumble. fumble. Uh -oh, Ball's loose, fumble. but I think the Lions it. have it. They lost a couple yards. Mortimer got on it. It's now at the 24-yard line. Loss on the play of a couple of yards, maybe three. Third and four now for Minneapolis. Third and almost five coming up. Seven minutes left. Lions face third and four. And off the Knox up the center. He didn't get her. I don't think he's right quite there. A little short. He gets to the 29, maybe the 28. Yard short. I'd go for it. Well, would I go? Yeah, I'd go for it here. I'd go for it in this game. You would. In this game, I'd go for it. And they're going to. Tackle made by number 60. No guts, no glory, Dale. Some, well, game, some games I wouldn't forward. go for it, but here I would. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, they might not have got it. No. Nope. Doring with the ball. Oh. oh. First the down. referee says First yes, down. he did. Right at the 30, which is where they needed to be. I guess I kind of missed that. Have an official time out here for uh, Randy Torres has a problem with the helmet. 67 goes in at center. First and 10 for the Lions from their own 30 yard line. 5 of 51 left in this first quarter. Okay, first and 10 Lions from their 30.
It's to Knox, trying the right side. Flag down. He gets six, seven yards, but there is a flag, and it'll be holding on the Lions. I think they'll bring her back. The flag is at the 29-yard line. That'll move us back to the 19. We have a flag down in the Minneapolis backfield, down around the 30-yard line. I see a lot of hot chocolate being bought here tonight. We'll make guys. a second and 21. Well, this drive has had trouble. The call is holding. Yes, this was written like all over it from yeah. the very, very beginning. That right. kick that went through between the, the receivers. And we'll fumbles. Now penalty. That was a holding call, is that correct? Yes. yes. Uh -huh. First and 21 from the 19. Mortimer's quarterback. Ryan keeps it, comes left. He's got a hole, cuts back right, and then now he's left oh. again. Cutting, cutting, motoring up across the 40. First down. Ten. 21, 22 yard run for Mortimer. That Ryan can cut back about as good as anybody I've seen. Also a senior. On this Ellsworth team. When you say when you say that cutback, that take the guy that did that, I thought as well as anybody I've seen uh, over the years, not cutting anybody down. But Phil Pichel had the ability to run against the grain as well as anybody I, that I've ever seen. I never got to see Phil play, but I know he was an outstanding runner for the Lions. Mortimer, a carry again, he gets a yard. Over left guard. He held the MHS rushing records for 15 years or so till uh, Allison from Delphus yeah. took it and he held it for another 15 or so years till young Mr. Mortimer. They're gonna, they're gonna meld away probably in more cases than one this year. Second and 10, four minutes, 18 seconds left, first quarter. Second and nine coming up. And off the dooring, he's juking on Johnny. No, it's Mortimer again. Did he step out of bounds? Oh, juking and driving down the sideline. He gets up to the 34-yard line of the Bearcats. Across the Ellsworth 34, and that's good for Minneapolis. First down. Starting and stopping on the nine when the tacklers don't know what to do with it. Finally tackled by number 19, Brad Barta and brought down after he's well into Ellsworth territory. We'll, ha we'll have a, uh, the coach will stop by after the game and we'll have a little post game talk with the coach tonight. Did you get that arranged? I got that arranged. All right. Mortimer's quarterback again. Hands off to Doring. No, oh. or Smith, Ooh. one of the two. I believe that's Smith, the number eight. Is Jamie Smith, number yeah, eight. Yeah, that's Jamie. Jamie got hit by a couple and guys there. Tackled by number 19, Brad Barta. Short gain. Two yard uh, gain. Two yards, short two. Second eight coming up. We have a timeout by the Bearcats with 327 to go in the quarter. The Lions are leading eight to zero. I'll this opportunity to advise that we have a set of clients. Go ahead. Minneapolis Did you Lions win the homecoming game your senior year? No, we lost, I think, uh, by two points. Two points. I think we went for two and didn't make it. Remember that Jim Goeth trying to get it up the center and it was cut short of trying to tie the game. And up the Knox over left guard. The identical play that he scored on before. And he's about three yards short this time. Near the goal line, just inside the five yard line before he is brought down. But that's he is at the two yard line. First. He rules over them like a freight train, doesn't he? They're working it up to three. Yes, he does. And uh, did you win at your senior year, Trace? I don't know. No, I know you didn't, because you were you were that was a total, you were totally defeated that year. If I'm right, if that team was. Oh yeah. Official. Dave's senior year, we won. First time in yep. eons. I think 13 years or something, something like that. It was, 13, 13, it was kind of a fluke, years. and it happened to be Smith Center. 13 yeah. or 15 <laughs> years, yeah. Going for two are the Lions. 
Smith. Oh, oh Smith. Yes, he's in. Slips, but Mortimer takes it in anyway. Thank goodness there was not a fumble on the handoff. Two with two to go. It's 14. Minneapolis. Ellsworth is zero. What was all oh, there? Was okay, a there was Dale. A, that uh, was that. That play start. That there was uh, a penalty, and the redo it. Oh, Hold there was a hopes. penalty. Yeah. What was the penalty? I don't know. I didn't see it. We're doing it over. And off the Smith. No, Mortimer kept it. He's going right. Hands off the Knox. He gets it in. Result no, no, that's the, no, the PAT. That's the PAT. No, the other one was a PA. Oh, that's right. You're. <laughs> yeah, that was. A... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now you had me confused. No, we scored, and then that was the yeah. PAT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot we had two. When they go for two, and we don't get seven, 14, 21, 28. You know that normal secession. Yes. It just screws me up. <laughs> okay, guys, we started that drive on the 20. Uh, 80 yard drive, 11 plays. Three, uh, four first downs in that series. Good sustained drive. You like to see that? Started out in trouble, but he got straightened out. So, Trace, you're going to lay any money on somebody winning that car tonight? I hope somebody does, but they're going to have to kick a 45 yard field goal. A and a 35 and, and a 25. Well, you know, I've waited. I've waited since I heard about this contest. I, I've, I've thought about this and deep kick going out of bounds. That's what'll come out to. The I thought about this giveaway and I, and I thought that we could say this about Trace. Maybe he can't sell one. Maybe we'll see if he can give one away. <laughs> oh, 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 isn't that low. funny? That's low. Everybody likes a comedian. Huh? That's low. You bet. You. If you can't sell them, give them to them. I'd rather have a million friends than a million dollars, Dave. <laughs> that penalty will automatically raise it to the 35 yard line. 35 yard line. First down, Bearcats. Best field position of the night for the Bearcats, I think, or close to it anyway. Double slot, one setback. Kennedy goes back to pass over the receiver's head. The pass intended for number 80, Chad Hyman. A senior receiver, slot back, is incomplete. Two minutes, 48 play, seconds first left. Quarter. First quarter, Lions lead 16 to nothing. And Jeff Doring, first, first possession, Ellsworth was three and out, punted. Down after the incomplete pass. And off the fullback, he's got a couple yards, and it's thrown back. Torres and Martin take him. Third and seven coming up. And he is stacked up back there by a long seven. Third down and eight. And Dominic Martin, number 13. Third down. Got a motion to the other side this time. Kennedy pitches to the tailback. Nope, he's going nowhere. He cuts back and he's. Tackle for a loss by 63. Loss of two, three, two yards. Fourth and ten. Who's 63 there? Jane Donovan, number 63. Jane Donovan, that's right. Another one of those 16 senior leaders on this year's edition. Well, after two series of three and out, they have four net yards. Schmidt and Mortimer back to get the punt. It looks like it could be a long night for the and Bearcats. Unless something changes, they're, they're just way out. Kennedy, the quarterback, is their long here. snapper. He, Pretty decent taken punt. by Schmidt. And Jeff Cropper with the punt rush. But they do get yep. the punt away. It's Fake to Mortimer, and he three, takes it up. Schmidt line. takes it on up to the 43-yard line of the Lions. And he's tackled by Caleb Cruz, number 24. Short return. So Mr. Kennedy has jack all trades there, yes, quarterback and uh, long snapper and yep. number 22. And 
Down. Field goal kicker. Dale, did you know I sold him a car? Mark and a deer, Kevin. Mark. Oh, all right. Yeah, sure did. What you selling? See, he does Brand sell. Am. He does sell things. Yeah. He actually paid for it. <laughs> Hand off the Knox. No, oh. Smith keeps it, trying the right side. Ooh. And he gets a couple three yards. He made a Bearcat. By number 11, Mark Kennedy. Up to the 46. Second and six coming up. Second and a long six now as the ball is on the Minneapolis 46 yard line. We're under one minute, first quarter. All Lions on homecoming night. Mortimer's quarterback, hands off to Smith. No, he keeps it. Now pitch out to Doring. Tries the left corner. Gets around, cuts it back right, and it's taken down behind from behind by two Bearcats. He gets up to the Bearcat 37 yard line. One yard line. Maybe the 36. 38 yard line, 37. Make 37. But that run for Doring Well, they just keep me guessing. Now it's at 36. First down. First 10 lines from the Bearcat 36. 36 the seconds to go in the quarter. Cody Schultz, a junior, 5'8", 162 pounds. First down, Lions. Mortimer's quarterback again. Keeps it, rolls right. Looking to pass. Down over Moody's head. Clock stops at 17 seconds to go in the quarter. Mortimer intended for Cody Moody, number 44, is just out of reach and incomplete. That's the first pass of the night, I believe. Uh huh. For the Lions, anyway. Depending on the play, number Both teams 0 for 1. For the Bearcats. Mortimer's quarterback again. Oh, he's bottled he up. Broke through that time. He's bottled up and uh, gets back to the line of scrimmage and says no more. That'll and be the last time, time will expire at this quarter. It's the third and ten coming up for the Lions. Sixteen zero Minneapolis. The end of one quarter play. Are you gonna say something, Trace? Nope. All right. What you were gonna say? Well, excuse me. That's quite all right. It's just echoing that it looks like it's Lions night tonight. So far. Back with second quarter action shortly. Okay, here come the Lions, third and 10. From the 35 or 36 yard line. Mortimer's the quarterback. Keeps it, rolls right. Runs, cuts up the side, and he's taken for a one-yard gain at the 35. That's going to make third, fourth and nine for the Lions. They put, they put the stop on this drive. So far. down by number 80, Chad Hyman. I mean, we have gone a good distance, but uh, this series has done nothing. Fourth and nine. The ball right at the Ellsworth 35. And they're going to go for it. Oh, pass was complete to Knox, but uh, a penalty on the Lions right after the ball was snapped. The legal motion, the call. The illegal motion was the call. Minneapolis, and that will back him up. Moves up to the 41. Well, it'll be fourth and about 15. It's right on the 40. That was a uh, five yard penalty. Uh huh. After the penalty, fourth and 14 now. What was the call? Illegal yeah. motion. Motion. Smith is quarterback now. He pitches to Mortimer, trying the left side. He's got the corner. 
I'm beyond? Yes. And I believe he might have the first down. Yes, he's beyond the first down. A couple yards beyond. Cameron Knox made a block there that just literally flattened the kid from Ellsworth. That's got to dishearten you. You got it back, you got him down fourth down and 14, and they convert that. It's definitely no eagle booster. Down from the Ellsworth 25. Mortimer rolls right, pass to Knox. Oh, oh. Bounces out of his hands. Need that baby lotion. Pass intended for Cameron Knox is incomplete. He caught it the first time when we had the penalty. Yeah. This drive started on their 35 yard line. Our 35 or theirs? Their 35 yard line. Well, we have an encroachment unless the line moved. And we got a little movement at the line of scrimmage. That prompts some yellow flags. Ellsworth's pointing at the Lions, saying they did it. <laughs> and the referees agree. Against Minneapolis. Yep. Oh. The illegal procedure. The illegal procedure. Let me make a second and 15. From the 30. Third penalty. That'll back the ball up to 10.45 to go in the second quarter. Mortimer's quarterback again. He rolls right, he's got a convoy in front of him. He makes the corner. Out of bounds. And Mortimer on a keeper sweeps around this right near sideline. At about the 18 yard line or 19. Close to the first down. Brad Barta. Not as close as I thought. It's third and three. Or Gain of about short four. It'll bring up a third and four. 10 minutes, 36 seconds left, second quarter. From the Ellsworth, 18. Well, Trace, did you give you out and drive that vibe? Is it a decent car? Smith is the quarterback. Counter to Knox. He's got the first down and a touchdown. Oh, a touchdown. He reached out there and got it across the pylon. Cameron's second touchdown of the night. Or was it third? Second, I believe. 35-yard uh, uh, TD by Cameron on the first series. Mortimer scored the second touch touchdown. Okay. Hand off to Knox, and he got it. And Cameron Knox off the middle for the three-point conversion. And it's now 26-0. Lions here on homecoming night. That was a nine-play, 65-yard drive. 18 uh, capped off with an 18-yard TD run by Cameron Knox. Did they convert that PAT? Yes, Knox up the center. Two hundred and eighteen yards rushing. From I fully expect to see that up over four hundred yards tonight. Unless they put the third the B teamers in them right away. Now 
Boys, I'm gonna go out on the limb. I'm predicting the victory tonight already. <laughs> and that was the boot by Knox. Deep kick by Knox. Taking on the right and side of fumble. Fumble, fumble. Uh, I believe there's a fumble on the hit. Uh, guess not. And he's tackled by number. Trace and my old eyes both have gotten deceived. By number 30, that's Tanner Pichel. That, they recovered it. It's on the Bearcat 28. As we said a long time ago, Ellsworth has a net four yards rushing. Kennedy goes up the center, gets a couple three yards. Ball carry number 24. Oh, was a fullback handoff, excuse me. And tackle made by number 66, John. Sophomore Smith. Kenton Lonberger now in the game. Gain of Corner. Three yards on the play, second and seven now for Ellsworth. Pitch to the le right side. And it goes nowhere. Host of line well, is taking down. Went backwards. Yep. The ball carrier, number 19, Brad Barta. And he is stood up by Tanner Pichel, number 30. The ball is now at the 30-yard line. Third and seven so coming up. A third down for the Bearcats. So that either gained a little bit or nothing at all, one of the two. Ocean man coming left. Kennedy rolls right. Oh! Gets maybe a yard or two. I think he got one or two, but brings up fourth Washington down. Ball carrier number 19, fourth Hart. and six coming up for the Bearcats. Fourth down, Bearcats. Nine minutes left till halftime. This folks. is their third or fourth three and out. I'm not sure. This which. is will be the third three and out. Net seven yards rushing. Hard to win doing that route. They're going to go for it. I'm not sure. They're going to go for it. Try to they are going to go for it. I think they're going to try to draw us off. Well, sides. it wasn't any good. Oh, well, no. Nope. They didn't make it. That seemed like a dumb call. Well, they're kicking into the wind. I, I assume they. I guess they assume that would mean nothing but disaster, maybe a long run back or something. Along with. Martin. But now the Lions have an excellent field position at the Bearcat 36. The first down. <laughs> so a four and out, not a three and out. I guess that was the coach's thinking. I don't know. Well, I'm sure he's pretty discouraged. Yes. First down, Minneapolis from the Bearcat 38. Smith, the quarterback, hands off to Knox over the right side. And he's taken down by three or four Bearcats. He's marking that to 33. 222 yards rushing. 0 for 2 passing. Mortimer's quarterback this time. Second down after the run by Knox. And the Smith. Mortimer. Oh, Mortimer kept it? He gains a couple. The ball carrier is Ryan Mortimer. And he's taken down by. Brings up a third and four. Gotting number 62. And also number 19. They still have a homecoming Florida. dance. Uh, uh, yeah, they, they do for the kids. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Oh, you mean I can't go? Well, you can go and watch, I think. But well, about three yards to go, long three. They probably run you off the floor if you tried to dance. <laughs> Get them old fogies out of here. And out to Mortimer, he dances, no. jukes up the inside, and he doesn't make it. A bunch half, of Bearcats taking him down. Half the team. He might have got a yard or two. Looks like he did get a couple of yards where the line judges lined up. Yeah, we got fourth down and three. They're at the 30-yard line. 
six minutes, 53 seconds left. Clock's running. All Lions, first half. Fourth and three coming. 6.45 to go in the quarter. Smith is quarterback. Pitch to Warner, trying the left side. He's got, no, didn't have the corner, but I, I think he might, no. Uh, boy, he's close to the first down. Ball carrier on a sweep, and he is caught. Didn't make it. Didn't make her, folks. The Lions out of four and out. First one of the game. And the tackle by Gooding short. The ball is at the Bearcat 28 yard line. Right back to the Bearcat. 6.18 to go in the second quarter. At their own 29. Push down, Ellsworth. Kennedy keeps it. He went backwards. The ball carrier was Mark Kennedy, the quarterback. Loss of a yard, second and 11. And he was tackled out there by senior Jeff Cropper, junior Jeff Cropper, number 47. Motion man to the left, hand off the tailback, tries the center, gets maybe a yard. backwards. Yeah. No, I guess. Tackle by a couple lines, Torres and Moody. I got uh, two yards before they took him back. And the duo of Torres and Moody was too much. Third and 11. Third down nine. Right, third and nine. Ocean man left. Pitch to the tailback, and he's taken in the backfield by 80 for a loss. And I never can remember who number 80 is. And the pitch out went to number 33, Cody Schultz. And he was caught by Tyler DeWitt, number eight. Tyler DeWitt, yes. Zero net yards. That'll bring up a fourth and long. Bearcats going to punt into the wind now. After the tackle by DeWitt. Mortimer Schmidt back to receive. Short kick, taken by Mortimer. The 48 cuts back. Oh, oh. You're gonna drive in, he's taken down right at the 50. He lost some yards. And great coverage on the punt return. Ryan Mortimer with a shoulder. So they're gonna really line him up the line 49, actually. And the tackle made by Caleb Cruz. One of the lines have first and 10. For that Bearcat defense. 4.25 to go in the quarter. Wishbone formation again. I know who the kickers will be that will try to win the car at halftime. Fullback dive and he gets nowhere. Well, tell us. Mike Weedle. Oh, really? And Scott Alsherman from the American Family Insurance. Oh, me. Two local boys. Two local boys think they can go out there and hammer that ball. One yard gain for Knox. Well, the, the Ellsworth Bearcat line stiffening up here, boys. Yeah, they are. I've noticed that. <clears throat> Apparently, we didn't have any uh, semi-professional kickers traveling for very far away to try to win it. Timeout Lions. Minneapolis. Either that or Mike and Scott padded the entry for him. Well, you never know. 3.51 to go in the second quarter. The Lions are up 24-0. Uh, Dr. Pepper, I think that was the... Second nine for the Lions here after the timeout. Three minutes, 51 seconds left till halftime. Mortimer is the quarterback. Been all Lions, it's gonna be all Lions. They simply outmatch Ellsworth. Hand off to 
Doring over the left side, and he has five or six yards. Got a little cross buck there. Up to the 46 yard line of the Bearcats. Make a third and five. Also, Drew Britt, number 82, and on the tackle. Third down, Minneapolis. Mortimer keeps uh -oh, it. Oh, he's coming got right. Chasing him. Pitch out the Knox. <laughs> and he goes out of bounds at the 35 yard line of the Bearcats. First and 10, move the chains for the Lions. By number 19, Brad Barta, the senior. And that gain by Knox, good enough for Minneapolis. First down. Three minutes left, first half. Mortimer's the quarterback again. And oh. keeps it, cuts up center. Look at him go, folks. He's got it. He's, He's going to break loose. Wheeling and Neelan Mortimer. Faked the handoff, turned around, and went over left guard. 35 yard, or where is it a? It is, 35 yard. 35 yard touchdown run. And touchdown. Makes the score 30 to zero with 2.56 to go in the quarter. The Lions have now scored two touchdowns in each quarter of the opening half. It was a 49 yard drive. Called a mate. Topped off with a 35 yard uh, TD run by Mortimer. And Minneapolis lining up for the two point conversion after that touchdown by Mortimer. And off to Doring yeah. or Smith, nope. one of the two. Didn't get her. Must nope. have been Smith. 279 yards rushing tonight. Oh, man. Two point PAT was denied. So it is 30 to 0. With 2.56 to go in the second quarter of this homecoming game. Yes, sales with Bearcats. And we have our progressive field goal kick contestants coming up at halftime. Our female contestant from Delta, Kansas, Bad Mortimer. Well now. And our male contestant in the progressive field goal kick contest from right here in Minneapolis, none other than Mike Guido. She probably do a better job than the other one anyway. Well, I was giving all the information. <laughs> what, how did, we're not on the air. Yeah, we are. <laughs> I'm assuming Scott Osherman can't kick a field goal. Knox taking the ball up once again. But I don't know. Knox, and woo, a deep booming kick. Taking that about the goal line. He's not going far. Oh. He's going to struggle a little. He's at the 18, 19 yard line. Two minutes, 48 seconds left till halftime, folks. 30 to zero. Tackle made by Jonathan Schmidt and Tyler DeWitt. Short return uh, to the 19-yard line. First down, Bearcats. 2.48 left. Well, Ellsworth starts where they started at the beginning of the game. Zero yards. Hard to win, Root, when you do that. For, uh, ball First and 10 from their 19. Come the Bearcats. More, uh, Kennedy back to pass. Picked off by Doring. That's his third interception of the year, I believe. He gets it up to the 19 yard line. 239 to go in the half. 
That was Doring? Yes. Third interception of the year for Jeff Doring. E Kennedy is 0 for 2 with one interception. First down for Minneapolis after the interception by number 28, Jeff Doring. Two minutes, 39 seconds left, first half. Warner keeps it, rolls right. He has the corner. Short of the touchdown by two yards. And Ryan Mortimer down the right sideline is grown out of bounds at the two-yard line. Mercy, mercy. 17-yard gain for Ryan. And he's taken out by number 22, Ben Cruz of the Ellsworth defense. First and goal. From the three. First and goal from the three. Coming up. Hand off to Doring. He scores from the three. Making the score 36. Lions, zero, Ellsworth. Line up to go for two. Warmer's quarterback. He keeps it. No, hands off to Doring over the left side, and he's made it in. And the two point conversion. It's 38 0, Lions, 2.27 to go in the second quarter. Well, that was all Doring's show the interception, the touchdown, and the PAT. Hey, he did it all. He did it all. Well, there was a. 17-yard run by Ryan Mortimer in the middle of it. But. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. We're, but, scoring, we're scoring some legends. But, but, but Doring was a major portion. We'll have the drawing for that beautiful Minneapolis Lions Afghan. I, and I can use that up here right now in Afghan. You betcha. 299 yards. <laughs> 101 yards to go for that 400 plateau. And hopefully we'll give away that brand new 2005 Pontiac Yeah, the linebackers could use another $2,500. That's kind of getting back to the other night where they had the two play 93 yard or 98 yard. And now we're getting down to where we're having having drive two yard two or two play drives for a touchdown. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's not quite as long. Yeah. In that case, 20 yards. You guys might not believe this. I'm not feeling sorry for Ellsworth. Yeah, that's. They're paying. They're paying he for. Cross fumbled. He picks it up finally, and he's oh, taken oh, down by. They're, they're just. They're just overmatched. Yeah, that's I mean, all. You know. 25, 26 yard lines where they'll start out before. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Number 32. That's Greg Jones. I can't empathize with them. This is payback time for all the old Lions teams that took it on the chin. Okay, that's the way to look at it. Payback time. Starting off on halftime activities will be a routine by the Minneapolis High Take School. Take your beating like a man. And we have a timeout, official timeout. With no problem. Set to resume. 2.20 to go in the second quarter. And off the fullback, good gainer for the Bearcats. Four or five yards, possibly. Kind of in the midst of the third quarter, the, uh, the there seemed to be just a little area there where Ellsworth kind of got a little spark, and they, they got kind of stiffened up in, in the line there a little bit. They got up to 30. It's a Ball second and six. Yeah, they were standing us up there for a little while. And but we started moving outside. Play, so second down for the Bearcats from their own 30. Motion right to the left, I mean. And uh, Kennedy second down by Resnick, I believe. No, it was uh, Schmidt dove through there. Tackle well, they had, they had five yards. Kennedy 
<laughs> at the 26 yard line. Loss on the play of about three. So third and nine. Clock's running, 120 left, first half. The Bearcats. 118 left for. Kick, picking down to 110 to go on the half here. Motion to the right. And Kennedy keeps it, pitches it out left. Oh. And that guy gets uh, a couple of yards. He could have snuck by him. Taken down by Mortimer and Zucker, possibly. Chad Hyman. And he was tackled by Fourth Randy and Lewis. eight coming up. <laughs> Short gain. And that will set up a fourth down for the Bearcats. Mortimer Schmidt back to receive the punt. 35 seconds to go in the half. In the half. See if we get a run back here. I would not be surprised somewhere along the line to see Jared Smith break one open. Oh, it's blocked. His own man, I believe. Yeah. Crawford, uh, oh. oh boy. Oh, he grabbed him by the shoulder pads. I thought. Crawford uh, blew the blocker back into the punter. Kicked into the blocker's back. Crawford with the block punt. The pinner, well, illegal the procedure the on the Lions. They're gonna call face mask. I thought he had the shoulder pads. I'd see it on film to convince me, I guess. And that'll be a illegal procedure. I mean, a uh, personal foul, I bet you. That's case, it'll be a 15 yarder from that spot. First down. I don't get that. What? Uh, well, that was the flagrant. Face mask penalty, which you don't see so much of anymore. I thought you grabbed him from behind. Well, I did too, but some ref saw it differently. Looked to me like he got the back of his shoulder pads. What's that? It looked to me like he got the yeah. back of his shoulder pads. Fourth penalty. First and ten for the well, Bearcats. It won't make much difference. There's ten seconds, seconds and counting. They might not even get a playoff. No, I guess they will. And off the fullback, and Oops. he gets a couple yards, and that's it. First half's over. First half's over. We're going to have some excitement at halftime. A cheerleader routine, and then some the kicking. The half. 38, 38 to zero at half, Minneapolis. Well, Ellsworth finally did manage to get a first down yeah, on man. penalty. Someone paid the price for that one, too. Well, we'll have a cheerleader routine here. Well, I can give you the, uh, if you want to give you, uh, let me give you the Ellsworth stats here real quickly. It's not going to take very long. Okay. They have three net yards rushing, one first down. We just saw it on that face mask call. Uh, they punted four times. They attempted to uh, convert a fourth down and were short. And basically that is all there is to say about Ellsworth's first half, Dale. Minneapolis. Alan Adams, how you doing there, bud? 299 yards rushing for Minneapolis. Eight first downs, four penalties for 35 yards total penalties. All Minneapolis, Dale. 299 yards rushing. 299 yards, yep. How many first Eight downs? first downs. Eight first downs. Four penalties, 35 yards penalties. And about, uh, Recap uh, the uh, first half five, here for you. Five touchdowns in the first uh, half, To it? begin with, we had, they st Ellsworth started off with a little bit of an unusual play, an onside kick, didn't work. Uh, Four-play drive by Minneapolis, 57-yard 50, uh, uh, drive, which included a 35-yard TD run by Cameron Knox. PAT conversion by Doring was good. Uh, your mic's off. So let's just turn that mic on, would you, Trace? There you go. Repeat that. Am I on now? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Minneapolis. Uh, let's see. We started the game with the uh, uh, Ellsworth tried an onside kick, which was uh, was unsuccessful. We did we did recover the ball on the 43-yard line. 
a four-play, 57-yard drive, including a 35-yard TD run by Cameron Knox. The PAT two-point conversion was good by Doring. Fumble, uh, there was a fumble, but we did recover it. Fourth, uh, fourth and one, we tried, uh, tried for a fourth and one and were successful, which resulted in a 11-play, 80-yard drive, including a two-yard run for touchdown by Mortimer. PAT uh, pitch to Knox was successful. The next series uh, was a nine-play, 65-yard drive resulting in a touchdown with a 18-yard TD run by Cameron Knox. PAT by Knox was good. Then uh, the next series, Minneapolis had the ball. There was a, we went for a fourth and three and we were denied that time. The next series was a 35 yard t uh, t TD run by Mortimer. The PAT was no good, set up by an intercepted pass. A correction, then the next, the next series we had the ball was set up by an intercepted pass by Doring, uh, in which uh, Doring scored the touchdown and the PAT. And that's the first half action, Dale. Thank you, Dave. Dave the step man, thanks a lot. Nice dance routine by the cheer squad. I'd rather hear the Beatles. <laughs> Are you uh, going to go hear the uh, Beatles imitators this year? I forgot where they were. I heard them advertised. I can't remember where they're going to be. I've seen them once. But well, yeah. I like well, to they're see back again. again. I thought you could go and see them. I probably will. I can't remember where it's coming up here in the fall, but I can't remember where. It, probably in Wichita somewhere, I suppose. Well, I'm not sure what the, uh, I don't know, I'm not sure if you're the Ellsworth coach, what it is you go in at halftime and have to say. Well, boys, keep a stiff upper lick, but try, try, try. I can't remember what our guy's coach used to say. It <laughs> never was much encouraging. <laughs> You need to get somebody got chewed out usually because they didn't do something right, and then, you know. There was plenty of opportunities. Brad Mick, Brad Jones, Josh Macy, Connor Collins, Mason Weedle, and Cameron Walker. Let's have a round of applause for these young the winners of this year's punt pass and kick contest. All right, let's bring on the action. Give away a car. It's on or off? On. We don't have any audio. It's not on, so.
Looks like they're going to have Mike Wheeler go first. Okay, the rules are they have to kick three successive field goals, each 10 yards next to each 10 yards beyond the first one. Mike is lining up to kick a 20 yarder. If he makes it, he's got to move back and make a 30 yarder. Oh, and then a 40 yarder. I thought it was going to be 25, 35, and 45, but that's not where they're lining it. Mike, a football player for the MHS Lions back in the late 70s, a wide receiver. Okay, here we come. And wide left and a little low. Next will come Bev Mortimer. I guess. Is that Bev out there? Oh. Nope. Oh, Beth Mortimer. I thought they said Bev. So the Pontiac vibe is safe for Trace to sell. <laughs> Back with second half action shortly. Second half ready to begin here. The captain is going out on the field to uh, see who receives and who kicks off. Should be the Lions receiving. No, it should be the Lions kicking off. Ellsworth will receive with the wind at their back to begin the third quarter and defend the south goal. The Lions will defend the north goal to your left. Yeah, there was, we were discussing school enrollments. There were some schools, 12 students in three grades. I can't remember who it was. Somebody down in 1A? Well, you know, Dale, you get out west, and it's it's difficult. Oh, yeah. As I said, you know. Difficult in central Kansas sometimes. Where? <laughs> it's difficult in central Kansas. Sometimes. Yeah, it is. It's getting tougher all the time. Yeah. yeah. I'm afraid it's not over. The Lions will kick off and play defense here to begin the second half. I don't think we'll be short kicking it, do you think, group? I don't know why you would. up to the 30-yard line, 32-yard line possibly. 25-plus yard return here for the Bearcats. Starting out first and 10. 
And also Cameron Knox. From number 32, Moody and Knox take him down. First down, Ellsworth from their own 22 yard line. How about 32? Dive by the over the right tackle gets uh, possibly a yard. Fischel takes him down. Caleb clears the ball carrier. Two yards. 24. Maybe three. And he's tackled by Fischel and Torres. Short gain. <laughs> About three yards. Second down. Second seven coming up. They have not had. They have not had more than four consecutive plays in this game, Dale. Oh, big gain over the left side here, almost up to the 40. The ball carrier is Caleb Cruz. Taken down by Moody and Zucker. That and he is finally tackled. Third and three. Yep. Yeah. And Cody Moody. Nice gain on the play by the Bearcats. And that'll bring up a third and a short two. 10.49 left, third quarter action. Around the right side. It might be close, I don't know. Didn't get her. And once again, the handoff goes to number 24, Caleb Cruz. And well, I guess he did. Through the middle. Uh, uh, actual first down. Uh, uh, earned the first down for the Bearcats. That is their first Over earned the first, first down, as you say. say. <laughs> Watch out, guys are coming back. First down, Bearcats. From their own 32. Kennedy keeps it, pitches out right. And the pitch out goes to. About a six, seven yard gain. And the senior slot back. And he is tackled by Joe Zucker, number four. Free safety. Zucker takes him down. They're up to the 48 yard line of the Bearcats. Second and four coming up. Gain on the run by Barta of about seven yards. Second and three now for the Bearcats from their own 48. Fullback dive, and I don't think they made it. They're up into the line territory. To the 49. Caleb Cruz, the ball carrier. Third and two. And he's tackled by Jamie Smith, number eight. Jeff Jamie Crawford comes Jamie limping off. To the Minneapolis side of midfield. Third down from the Minneapolis 49. Third down and two for the Bearcats. Motion to the right. Uh oh. Oh, we encroached, and then their right tackle jumped. How's that ruled? I say that's going to go against Ellsworth. First Wait. down, Bearcats. That's wrong again. And the call is encroachment against the Minneapolis defense. Takes it to the line, 44. Five yard penalty. First and, and 10 for the Bearcats. the Bearcats. Two first downs in a row. Dave Spencer's got to get sharpened again. I told you they're coming back. Motion to the right. And off the tailback. He gets a couple, three yards. Fighting hard. The tailback, number 24. Taking down by Moody. Eight minutes, 40 seconds left. Third quarter action. Line is lead, 39 to nothing. Is that 39 or 38, Dale? Mm -hmm. It's 38. 38 to nothing. Second and eight, maybe seven coming up. Gain of three yards on the run by Cruz. Second and seven now. Motion to the left. Kennedy rolls left. Pitches just where he's hit, or as he's hit. Oh. One player had a hanging. Zucker. Had the tail back by an ankle, wouldn't let go. Mortimer shook up with a ankle or a uh, elbow injury. Maybe it's just a crazy bone injury. Shaking it off. Now they face third and nine. 
Seventh play of this of this series drive. Kennedy hands off the tailback. He gets up five, six yards up to the 40 of the Lions. He's the ball carrier. They'll bring up fourth and five. And Randy Torres, number 54. Randy Torres, you hear, Randy. you hear his name a lot. Yep. Randy, one of those 16 senior leaders at six foot two fifteen. Helping to lead that Lion defense. The crowd's thinned out here, folks. Well, they did manage to. Yeah, they're going to go for it again. Well, after this success, you might got to keep going. Build your confidence. They were going to trying uh, to pull us off. Trying to pull us off, and we had one lineman move there a little bit, but he didn't didn't quite go. Six minutes and 47 seconds left. Third quarter. Timeout on the field called by the Bearcat squad. Score remains 38-0, Lions over the Bearcats. <laughs> Did you hear about the whooping cough scare at the grade school? I have heard about that, yes. I don't know if they actually had a confirmed case in the fifth grade or not, but yesterday they were sending kids home right and left. If you coughed, period, out the door you go. That would have been one of them coughing then. <laughs> and they can't go back till Wednesday. They had, to get, they had to get medication. That would be all right. And uh, get some antibiotics and not come back till Wednesday. Now, I guess I'm not slick enough to exactly understand what the whoop, whoop, whooping cough is exactly. Well, it's pretty contagious and pretty nasty. And after the timeout, once again, Bell's work. Fourth and five, they're going for it. Kennedy rolls right, looks to pass. He's chased by Knox. Almost picked off by Torres. Knocked away anyway by Randy. Oh, for three with one interception. So the Ellsworth. Lions take over first to 10 from their 40. Is incomplete from Kennedy. But they, I don't know how many kids they sent home yesterday, but a bunch. I mean, they spent and several hours out. calling parents. Out of, the hands of the Minneapolis <laughs> offense. out of one class. Own one of them was my neighbor girl. Down. And she's perfectly fine. I mean, she <laughs> seems to be anyway. And they can't go back to Wednesday, huh? That's right. Well, that would have been right down my alley. <laughs> So mom and dad that takes a vacation days. Doring, hand off over left tackle. He gets maybe seven, six, seven yards. Across the 45 yard line. And he's tackled by Brad Barton, number 19. And we're in short, long five, short six maybe. Second and four and a half coming up. Six minutes, 20 seconds left, third quarter action. Ball's at the 46 yard line of the Lions. Just short of it. Second down for the Lions. From the 46. Smith is the quarterback. Hands off to Doring up the Let center. Let him go, folks. I thought he was going to break loose there for a minute. In the Bearcat territory, he's at the 43 yard line. First and 10 for the Lions. Move the chains. First down. The tackle on Doring made by number 85. The line is making some good holes James for the runners. Can't really call them the hogs because they ain't that big. <laughs> call them the grunts. Hand off to Mortimer. He's close, but not quite to first down. He's up 27 left. Close to the 35. Want to be about two yards short. Make it three. Second and three coming up. Five-eight junior. 
Second and two, clock's running. Five minutes left, third quarter. Mortimer keeps it. Uh-oh. He's gonna be bottled up, thrown for a loss by three or four Bearcats. And He's back at the 40, maybe the Mortimer 41. Pushed in the backfield by number 22. Now they're gonna give him a generous spot and at the 39. Makes third and five coming up. With a sandwich on Mortimer. <laughs> We do have the wind. Mortimer is 0 for 2 tonight, passing. And off the dooring over the left side. Nope. He's going to be a little bit short. Maybe two or three yards short. They're going to place it just short of the 35-yard line, which is going to be two yards. Fourth and two coming up. Daniel Allen, number 79. And that'll bring up a fourth and three for Minneapolis. I think I've seen more fourth down attempts in this game than yeah. I've seen uh -huh. in many, many games. Smith hands off to Knox. He's hey, hit pretty hard. Yeah, I he don't makes know. It. He makes it. Yep, going to be does. close. Well, the they met him good. They dug their heels in. And again. They're going to measure. Oh. Got a measurement. The run by Knox close to a first down. But the officiating crew will measure. Allen Adams says it's short. <laughs> Yeah, we don't Allen trust anybody from southwestern Kansas. 1970? He's right. It's uh, six inches short. Well, yeah, leave it up for the referee to know, huh? By golly. He called her. And now, do you referee football, too, or just basketball? Soccer. Soccer, okay. By Knox is short of the first down by the length of the football. <laughs> we got alumni sitting all around us here. Russ Bearfield, Jerry Pitts, Allen Adams. First 10 for the Bearcats. Kennedy keeps it, thrown for a loss by Crawford. Three minutes, 15 the seconds left. He's back to the 30 yard line. And number 11. And Jeff Crawford making the tackle. Three yard drop. On Kennedy. Loss on the play of about three yards, second and 13 now for the Bearcats. Ellsworth, 0 for three with one interception passing. Kennedy rolls back. Here pass it is. to the right. Over the receiver's head. Pass intended for number 80 is incomplete from Kennedy. <laughs> Depending on the play, number 80, Tyler DeWitt. Third and 13 coming up for the Bearcats. Motion player to the left. Hand off the fullback up the center. He's got a good gainer. Well short of the first down though. He's up to the 38 of the Bearcats. Make it the 37. 223 left, third quarter. Minneapolis 38, Ellsworth zero. Nice game by Cruz. But that will bring up a fourth down. Fourth and seven coming up. Schmidt Maybe. and Mortimer back to get the kick. Ken Cruz back to punt the ball away. Mortimer takes it at 35. Hands it off to Schmidt, trying the left side. And he's going to take it to the house, folks. First touchdown oh, yeah. for Mr. Schmidt in his varsity touchdown, career baby. as a freshman. What's his name again? First name? Jared Smith. Jared. I keep wanting to call it Jamie, and I know it's not right. 
How about that, folks? Well, that was a run. Yes, it was. You'll see uh, three more years of that, folks, hopefully. Where'd he take that on? Uh, that's the 40, I think. 50 yard return. Two point PAT coming. Mortimer rolls right, cuts up, and in. Good. And makes it. Who was that? Mortimer. And Mortimer. Mortimer. It's 46 to zero Lions over the visiting Bearcats here on homecoming night. Well, I think we'll see some B team action here on offense. Yeah, I see a sophomore. Once we get to the offense, once we get to the offense. But I gotta play defense first. Forty-six to zero, one forty-six to go in the third quarter. Knox to kick off. Knox with the ball on the tee. Getting ready to boot the ball away from Minneapolis. Another deep kick for Cameron. Taking that about the two or three yard line. He's a rolling. And he was well, smacked. He got smacked. At the 24 Flag. yard line. A couple flags couple down flags. there. Must be some words being taken place. Okay, we've got freshmen now. Smith's in it in the backfield. Brown, Nick Brown. So he has some flags down. Ball's almost at the 25. Personal foul on the on Bearcats declined. Oh, both teams. Okay. Offsetting penalties. First down, Bearcats. Must have been some exchanges of brotherly love down, going on down there or something. Pyro Technic team of Klein and Leach are planning a post game fireworks extravaganza. Stick around and check it out. And off to the tailback over the left guard gets a couple. Come some more substitutes. Minute 30 left, third quarter. Ball carrier was Caleb Cruz, number 24. And he was stopped by Randy Torres, number 54. After a short gain, second and eight now for the Bearcats. Tailback dive up the center. Gets close to the 30. Right at it. It's third and six coming up. And the Packers. Third and six. Fumble. Uh, yeah, he's, he, Kennedy dropped it down the ground on his knee to get the ball, so that's where the ball goes down. He got up and ran, but the referee downs it. Minneapolis ball. Oh, the Lions had it. All right. Oh, okay. Fumble, fumble. He apparently never completely regained possession. I thought he got up and was running with it, but apparently not. Recovery by Lions take over on the 32. Daniel Little with the recovery. Great job on the fumble recovery. Minneapolis takes over 
in Ellsworth territory at the 31. Warmer's coming out. The quarterback is Smith still. We have Fischel, Doring, and Zucker as the running backs. Hand off the to Fischel. Oh, look at the motion. Hand off the Fischel up the gut. Almost a first down. He drug everything but an elephant. Is number 30, 10 official. Up to the 23-yard line. Tanner, the son of Phil Peschel, one of the greatest running backs Minneapolis has ever had. Second and eight. One of the only ones, the only one that I, well, maybe the first one that ever got All-American status. He did, did he? Yes, uh huh? Yeah, yep. Bill's tough cookie. Yep. That's the end of the third end quarter, quarter, Big Dale. 46-0, Lions. We're all feeling pretty good about this victory, I'm sure. That's a joke. Oh, I'm feeling good. Huh? I'm feeling good. Oh, I do. What is there to feel bad about? <laughs> There's nothing to feel bad about. Huh? I mean, I'm, I'm check my emotions here or something or what? I don't know. If you're gonna come out and spend a cold night watching the football game, you might as well win. You might as well win, win. handily. And remember, we'll have the coach supposedly come up here and talk to us after the game. After the fireworks celebration. I don't know when. He'll have to say goodbye to his team and yep. have coaches chat and all that stuff, the prayer. Yep. First and 10 on the 23 yard line of the Bearcats. No, second and eight, second and two, excuse me. I got lost. But the quarter change. Who's quarterback? Mortimer? Yep. Oh, fumble. fumble. And he, his knee was down. Loss of a yard. Miss Q on the snap, and Mortimer picks the ball up, but it was already ruled down. So, third down. Third and three coming. And a long two to the Lions squad. From the Bearcat 19. Now we have Dolliff, or Brown at the quarterback. <laughs> Second week in a row, done that. And he keeps it, tries the right side, and he's going to be short. <laughs> I'm not sure he elected. I think he found. Him, I think he found himself with the football. <laughs> he is at the 23. I think the play done left him. Fourth and two coming up. The Lions will go for it. I don't think they'll try a field goal from here. Spencer's 11. done a really good job Still. on the JV, but I think the varsity might be just a step quicker. Yeah. Step or two. Clock's running, 10.52 left in this game, folks. Uh-oh. Encroachment. Somebody jumped. That'll be a first That's down for the Lions, the Lions, unless I saw it wrong. Looks like we're moving backwards. No, it's gonna be against the Bearcats. I didn't think I saw a lineman for the, in blue Ball flinch. And that moves it to the... That's only their second penalty. 18-yard line of the Bearcats. But it does result in a first down. First Five-yard penalty, is that correct? Mm -hmm. That is their first recordable penalty, the other being the offsetting penalties. Brown heads off bigger. the Doring over the right side. He gets up to the 13-yard line. Well, how do you think KU's going to do up there in Nebraska tomorrow, boys? I think they'll make a game of it. You think there'll be a game? I think they'll get second. Second and four. I think they'll get second. <laughs> in other words, you predict a Nebraska victory. Yeah, they, they, KU won't, won't finish any worse than second tomorrow. K-State plays who? Texas A&M. A&M. Where's that at? at down at A&M. At A&M. Oh, that could be a toughie. Yep. Hand off to Doring up the center. The pile continues to move. And I believe he has the first down. Weren't the line judge lining up down there? And he's taken down by. Yep. He's in the, the seven, yard, seven or eight yard line. First and goal for the Lions. 9.45 to go. Yeah, Jeff Mortimer, or Scott Mortimer was telling me that before the game that he had talked to Jeff a few minutes before the game started, and it was 
in the 90s and plenty humid down there. And <laughs> yeah, that feels good right now. <laughs> thinking of that. Where they're at. Deep in Central Texas. Hand off up the center. Mitchell. We have a flag coming late. Face mask. Face mask. The ball came down to the four yard line. It'll be half the distance from the five. What's it cost to have a commercial put on channel 37, Dale? Is there a. Uh, depends on. Um, the length? Incidental face mask. Is that, was that the call? There are two for commercial for businesses. There's two levels. Uh, two hundred fifty dollars or a hundred. They get other amounts of various amounts of advertising for whichever they get for the year. And I believe we have a first down. Have a touchdown. Touchdown, baby. I didn't see who got it. There goes and the fireworks. Will shortly start. Die, die play. And in the end zone for but so far we haven't anybody pony up to the plate to volunteer to advertise. Not yet. Or ask a well, business owner to ask what it is. <laughs> this year's edition of the Minneapolis Fighting Lions. Individuals can uh, get on for 50 or 25 to have their name on a list of supporters. And the two-point PAT, and uh, who's the runner? Doring, it looks like. And Doring with the two points. Did Doring get the touchdown? Did anybody yes, okay. three-yard run by Doring. 9.08 to go. It's 50. Four to zero, Lions. 339 yards rushing so far. Now, based, based all that off what Marion has done over the years, their levels of advertising, they get lots of folks signing up, but uh, we'll keep at it and see if anybody wants to step forward and see their name advertised on Channel 37. So if an individual does it for 50 bucks, There's, what does he get? Well, the way the Marion people have done it is they have two separate lists of sponsors. Um, they have one that's a $50 sponsor, another one's a $25 sponsor. There's two separate lists. They have different names of... I mean, for the season? Or yes, the game. The, the, the year. The year. Uh, I can have my name in there for mm -hmm. 50 bucks. And a kick saying I work 25 or 50 bucks. No, just you. As an individual, just you. Trace yeah. Trace, and Jerry Cree. Oh, I can't say in there that I work at Bennett's. No, no, no. no. Now, if Bennett wants to pony up and <laughs> spend either 100 or $250, <laughs> they can advertise. <laughs> First down for the Bearcats. Yeah, that's own. the whole school year advertising. Football, basketball, volleyball, track. It's not just now, a season. Now you're going to be gone some game, aren't you, Dale? Yes. Which game is Quarterback, or we have a big oh, gainer here. For, if I get around the corner, folks. He did get around the corner. He did get around the corner. In the lion territory, deep in the territory. Flag down back. Oh, uh -oh. holding, back. holding on the Bearcats. That's against Ellsworth. I'm gonna miss the Riley County game. The Riley County game. Gotta go out to California for some training. Oh, I feel so sorry for you get to go to California. Actually, it doesn't thrill me to death at all. It doesn't? No. Because <laughs> I won't get any sightseeing done or nothing. It'll just be all day long in a motel. Sit down in a room with some homework at night and get up and go to class the next day. I see. What part of California? Danville, which is uh, east of St. Louis or San Francisco. Yep. It was a 10 yard penalty. What mm -hmm. holding? Is that correct? Yes. Have you been to the Golden Gate Bridge? Uh, I the one time I was close to it. It was so foggy. I couldn't see it. No kidding. Yeah. Eight minutes, 56 seconds left in this game, folks. Tailback dive over the left side. He gets up to the 37 yard line. Yeah, I tell you what, it gets intensely foggy out there at times and you just, you can't see nothing. 
Could Unless you're right on top of it. Huh? Nope. The one time oh, how I, I did see the Golden Gate Bridge on that trip, and it was only as I was in the airplane and leaving. Brown, you know, the clouds broke enough that I could see, yeah. <laughs> see it as I was flying away. <clears throat> Second and ten for the Bears. I believe we have quite a bit line. of the junior varsity in there at this point. Yeah. That was Smith on that tackle, number 22. 16, Smith Spencer Brown. Brown. Yeah. Spencer Brown, number 16. Two freshmen. 8.13 to go. Alberto Contreras, number 35, freshman. Ball carrier, Cody Schultz. Call them the defensive plays. When is that Riley County game? That'll be uh, two weeks from the night. Two weeks from tonight. Next home game. We'll go to Lions next week. And Riley we County, can, yep. Lion, Riley County comes here we'll the following week. Kansas next yep, week. Yep, uh-huh. He's up to the 46, close to a first down. Yeah, renewal of a series against Lions. They used to be an old CK, CKL rival of the Lions. It is a first down. That is their third third uh, first down. The only thing good about their ground game now is it no, keeps the clock fourth, rolling. Fourth first down. Third or first down, fourth total. They have amassed 40 yards, total yards of rushing. First 10 from the 46, fullback dive. No, Kennedy pitches it late. They I got don't the think corner. Nice tackle by number 22. That's Jared Smith. First down for the Bearcats in the line territory at the 44 yard line. Jared Smith, number Jared 22, Smith. freshman. Jared Smith, the freshman, number 22. He's gonna have a good career here, ain't he, folks? We certainly hope so. Yeah, he's, he's the real deal. Seven oh seven left, folks, in this ball game. Fifty-four to nothing. They're amassing some yards now. Fullback dive gets two or three. You yeah, have uh, secured Mr. Lawnberger to film that night for oh, us. Chuck will be yep. taking your place, huh? Yeah. Number twenty-four. And that game's here. Yes. Okay. So I'll get to be the play-by-play -play guy. Yeah, you betcha. The fresh, the pressure will be all on you, Trace. Uh oh, I don't handle pressure very well, Dale, but <laughs> I'll try to rally. Hand off the tailback, tries the right side, oh, gets got... away, gets a couple more yards. He's up inside the 40. Caleb Cruz, an all carrier. To about the 37. Number 24, and he is tripped up by Tyler. 38, yeah, and I've got to fly home and hopefully get home in time to go to the K-State Oklahoma game the next day. Don't know what time that's going to be yet. So. You're a world traveler, my man. I can't make it out of the county. Jamie Wallenberg looks like maybe it knows tackle freshman. Kennedy rolls right. And he gets out of bounds, possibly. No, take it out of short of the bound, out of bounds line. First down for the Bearcats. And once again, the tackle made up to the 32 yard line of the Lions. That is their sixth play of this drive. The third first down in this series. At the 32. 532 left in this ball game, folks. And off the tailback, tries the left guard, gets a couple. Yeah. The ball carrier, number 24, Caleb Cruz. Short game. I'd like to see that clock keep rolling, don't you, Dave? Yes, that's that's what when Dale said he was out of bounds, I thought, well, oh, I'd hate to see that. Oh man, don't do that. Do They're it. up to the 29-yard line of the Lions. Second and seven. And off the tailback over the left tackle. Hey, he's he's getting away. And he sweeps around the left end for a first down and then some. Well, I lost track of him. And once again, he's tackled. 67 yards. The seventh first down. First down for the Bearcats. In the red zone. They're at where? About just outside the 10. 
and about the 12 yard line. 4.35 left. Kennedy rolls, pitch is late. Is that the corner? Nope. And Kennedy with the pitch out. He Kennedy. gets up to the 10. And he is tackled by Spencer Brown, number 16. It's around, takes him down. From Minneapolis. Second and four coming up for the Bearcats from the Lion 10. Well, let's make the Bearcats feel a little bit better about the game if they can score here. Four minutes to go. Motion to the left. Hand off of the tailback. Tries the left side. He's in. Touchdown, Ellsworth. And the ball carrier is number 33, Cody Schultz. And he scampers into the end zone for a Ellsworth touchdown. What number's Mike you wear? 64. Hey, Mikey Rupert's in there, the former he voice was? of the Lions. Yes, I can see him in there. He's on the line or something. Yep. Defensive end, left defensive end. Kennedy lines up for the PAT. Again, son of an MHS alum. Right through the uprights. And at 3.47 to go, it's 54 to seven. Minneapolis Lions over the Ellsworth Bearcats here on homecoming night. See if the Bearcats do a short kick here. Why not? Well, speaking of Chuck Lonberger, there he is. Mortimer and Schmidt back deep, but I don't think the ball is going to get that far. I would think they're going to short kick it. Three minutes, 47 seconds left in this contest, folks. Kennedy lining up to kick the ball away after the touchdown. Oh, so much of what I know. It's going to go into the end zone. And Kennedy boots it into the end zone. Lions right? take over first and 10 from their 20. On that low driving kick. All right, who's coming out? For the Lions. Here. Well, Brown is back. Quarterback again. Lomberger is a running back. 26, whoever 26 is. There's an end. Contreras is out there, and Schmidt is the other tailback. I want to see running plays inbounds, Dave. I'll take it. And off to Contreras up the center. Oh, Contreras gets go, away. Coach. Over the right side. Big, and big alive. gainer for Alberto Contreras down to the 35 yard line of the Bearcats. 30. Count a 30, 45 yard gain. He was heading downtown. Yes, he was. 45 yard 44 run. 44 yard, 44 yard. Great is he? Freshman. Mercy, mercy. Yep, 44, I'm sorry. Forty, forty yards by the freshman Contreras. First down. Three twenty-two to go in the game. Three hundred and eighty-three yards rushing. And here we have that's Smith, Smith trying the left side. He's right he got the, the corner. corner. Cuts up. One man to beat. Caught from behind. He's down at the fifteen-yard line, sixteen-yard line of the Bearcats. Ten. Move the chains. That's first and ten for the Lions. Down to the Bearcats, 16-yard line. We're three minutes left ben in this Cole's contest. Number 22. Look at that beautiful harvest moon tonight. Yeah. Uh-oh. Procedure penalty. 
Flag down at the snap of the ball. Yep, illegal, illegal procedure. Against Minneapolis is the call. Shine on. Five -yard shine on Harvest Moon. Still first down. Ba -do -ba -do. The ball is now on the 21 yard line of the Bearcats. First and 15 for the Lions. <laughs> Two forty to go in the game. Hand off to Schmidt trying the left tackle. He cuts up. He gets kill still going. And the handoff goes to He's up to the ten. Eleven yard gain. And he is up the middle. If that's where they mark it. Yeah, almost at the ten. That's we'll we'll say it's eleven yard game. Is at the eleven yard line. Two oh seven, folks. Second and a long four for the Lions here. As we hit the two minute mark in this ball game. Brown ball fumble. Alberto, the ball carrier. Alberto gets the ball back. The ball's at still the same location. Brings up a third and four, or fourth and four. A bubble on the exchange. No, this will be third and four, excuse me. Minneapolis retains possession. No gain, third down. This drive started on the our 20. Yep. And off to Schmidt, he gets inside the five. That'll be a first down. Schmidt ball carrier down to about the four yard line. 405 yards. First and goal from the four, one minute to go. 405 yards rushing? That's correct. Mercy. I was hoping we got the 400 plateau tonight. And we did. Well, you you got no, your wish. Unless we lose something. Stop us. <laughs> I'm sure they could. Well, yeah, I, that's getting a little crazy. 14 right. first downs. And off up the center, I think it's a touchdown. Nope. Just short. 47 seconds to go. They want a touchdown. The ball carrier is Contreras. It's on about the one. 30 seconds to go. Tackle made by number 72, Jordan Herzog. On the one yard line, second goal. 25 seconds left. Quarterback sneak. Nope. Hand off to Contreras, and he has it. Touchdown, Lions. The Lions score 13 seconds to play in the game. Makes the score 60 to 7. And the touchdown line by number 35, Alberto Contreras. Oh. Two, two freshmen have scored tonight. Yep. Smith on the return. And Alberto on that two and a half yard run. And since he got that 47 yard scamper, it's probably just right that he scored. <laughs> that seems fair. Yep. Line up for two. <laughs> and off to Schmidt. Yep. Are we close? No. Well, they denied Never. it. So the final score, unless we have a run, run back here or a touchdown, will be 60, Minneapolis, seven for the Bearcats. And this is gonna rank as one of the biggest victories for the Lions, period. It's gonna be a point to separation. I'll get my stats out after the game's over and check out where this fits in with the categories. Yeah, Minneapolis will kick the ball away to the Bearcats. After the this has to be a very, very tough season for the Bearcats. Very, very tough. That's part of whipping, 60 to nothing. Seven. They got a, they got a touch. They got a touch. That back, Ellsworth. 60 to seven. But we've tasted the same thing in our careers. Yes, we have. Us and some others. Every dog has their day. 
And who knows, I don't hope to see it. We might have a dog day like that again yeah. in the future ourselves. <laughs> I hope it's a long time off from now. When I'm in the nursing home and can't see it. <laughs> You'll need a million dollars a year to stay in the rest of by the time you're ready. Yeah, yeah. Whoever taking at the 21. Big tackle there by 67. I'm not sure who that is. It took him down. By 22, ben Cruz. Up to the 35. Several more substitutes. There'll be one more play, folks. Then we'll... Devin Knox was the tackler. Then Dave will do his thing, and we'll have the coach up here. And First and 10 with the Bearcats, six seconds to go. Once again, it's Dale Leach, Dave Rupert, Trace Cree bringing you this ball game. And off tailback, trying right the right side. Ball game's over. And folks. he gets the first down up to the line. They're 49. Time expires, 60 to seven here on homecoming night for the Lions over the visiting Ellsworth Bearcats. We'll be back for stats, final analysis, fireworks, and a coach's chat. Thanks for watching here on Channel 37 MCTV. Galaxy Cable Vision brought to you by the MHS linebackers. You, go ahead, Trace. On. He's right. It cuts all the others off. Thank you to our guests from Ellsworth and to our What is getting to be an annual event here, a homecoming fireworks celebration. Celebrate the victory. Leach and Klein, Klein and Leach. Oh boy, I thought you'd be down there. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get the camera turned around here. Where we have a chat with the winning victorious coach, Nate Wallenberg, in his second year at Nate, MHS as so head coach. Victory. Thank you, Chris. Everything went like you had hoped, I imagine. For the most part, we had some mistakes, some things that yes. we didn't like, but for the most part, we played hard, did a great job, and pleased with it. Next week's game, we play Lions, I believe. Yeah. Can you tell us about Lions? Oh, uh, well, they're uh, they're a good-sized football team. Uh, they don't really play a lot of the same teams that we do, so we don't know a lot about them. We'll know a lot more after this weekend. This was a good game to get some of the younger younger kids in, and they did good. Yeah, they really did. We've got some really good younger kids, and, and they play hard and do things well. Had a real nice win at Russell on Monday and against a good team, and, and so we're really pleased with how they're working. I wish we could play Southeast again. I think we can beat them. No, I, I agree. I think that's something that, that it, we may have it again to do sometime. Yeah. There's a chance down the road that we could see them. So, but uh, it was good for us. It, it, it made us think about some things and, and work on some stuff. And I think we're a better team. Dale, anything you want to ask, Coach? Um, what do you see is. What we need to do to keep staying successful here the rest of the year with the opponents we have coming up. I think that uh, we're going to see some teams that are bigger than us at times, and we have to play hard, play smart, try to eliminate some mistakes, and uh, and uh, tackle well, mm -hmm. play good football. So we had what 400 and some odd yards of rushing tonight, group was it? 
Yeah, 409. I have unofficially 409 yards rushing. So our, our rolling machine of the wishbone keeps we like moving along. Football. I think that's, as you get later in the season, it's something that uh, you don't always know what the weather's going to give you. You uh -huh. run the football usually that you're in pretty good shape. Roll the ball. Yeah, so, yep. and so that's something we'll continue to work on. And, and the guys are really playing better football, coming off the ball hard and mm -hmm. taking care of business. Our offensive line is just uh, so fantastic. Doing a fantastic job for Yeah, we good. made the comment earlier, they can't call them the hogs, they aren't that big, that's you know. Right, right. It's called them the grunts, they're doing a great job yeah, out they, there, they most of the time. Hard and yeah. And, and, and take care of business, and that's, that's, that's the key. That's the key, you can't do anything if you don't take care of the line of scrimmage. <laughs> The uh, second stringers, they wanted to get their own touchdown, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Yeah, those guys, you know, they don't want to let the other guys down. No. And, and that's all important to them. And, and they, they cheer on the sideline with those guys. And, and then the varsity comes and cheers when they go in. So that's what we need. Yeah. We're a team. They all, they all back each other really well. Hey, anything you want to ask Coach while he's here? No, congratulations. Good victory. Uh, you know, of course, I think Ellsworth, and, and you probably thought going in that Ellsworth might be a little overmatched this year. And, and they were, but uh, still, you did thing, things right. Uh, I'm just looking here at some of the stats here for Minneapolis. Might kind of review those while the coach is standing here. 49 rushing plays for 409 yards rushing, of course, unofficially. Um, we were 0 for 2 passing. As you said, you like to have a running game. That's what you have. And um, we, I, I didn't have us punting. I don't, I don't think we, we punted tonight. Punt. Uh -huh. You like to see that. We had one interception. We had 14 first downs, lots of sustained drives. That's good. Uh, the whole thing looked good tonight. I think that's the third one for Jeff this year, interception. Mm -hmm. He's done a nice yeah. job. Yes, he's leading the interception. Yeah. Seven Hard. penalties for 45 yards. <coughs> Excuse me. Had Hard three injured. fumbles, didn't lose any of them. Yeah. Our injury situation, how is uh, Contreras and uh, Crossan looking? Are they going to come back this year, do you think? Luis goes in tomorrow on Monday, and, and they'll scope his knee and see what they see, and, and they're, they think meniscus. And he's moving better the last week or so, just even before the surgery. Of course, after the surgery, it'll be a, a minimum of uh, 10 days. We'll, we'll know more after Monday. Uh -huh. And Drew is... They're going to look at him this next week, and and they, it'll be at least three weeks before we have Drew, and maybe longer. Okay. We'll, we'll see how that comes along. So, so maybe might maybe might have both of them back by playoffs if things go well. That's right. We might. Mm -hmm. That'd be great. Okay. Well, we'll let the coach leave on that. Once again, we want to congratulate Coach Wallenberg on a great victory on homecoming night. Okay, thanks, thanks, Nate. Thank you, Nate. Looking forward to next week. Okay. Thank, thanks for coming up. Okay, let's talk uh, briefly here about Ellsworth. They had 42 yush, uh, rushing plays for 102 yards. They were 0 for 4 passing, 0 yards passing um, for a total of 102 yards, 5 punts. They had 0 interceptions. They had first 8 first downs, 4 penalties for 20 total yards penalties, 1 fumble, 1 fumble lost, 0 sacks. Um, Ellsworth, just their building team. Yeah, they're outmatched. They were just we, outmatched tonight. We've been there before, as we've said many times, and uh, God bless them, as always you can say. And the sun will come wish, up tomorrow. <laughs> wish them the best in the future. <laughs> you know? I mean, you're, I, I, uh, got a pain in the side as I started to talk. That's the only okay. reason I was joking. I wasn't trying to laugh. Well, once again, folks, but, uh, we're glad to bring you this game on Channel 37. We know a lot of people watch it, and we enjoy doing it for you. Any feedback you can give us, we'll accept it or reject it. Ken, thanks. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, you can't watch it anywhere but on Channel 37. Forget Dish Network, Star TV, whatever it is. You bet you got to be a Galaxy boy. And that's right. You got to subscribe to Galaxy to get it. So thanks for those that are watching. We'll be back next week at Lions. The Lions now move to four and one on the season and three and two, is it? No, three and one. Three and one in the in the NCAA. See you guys next week at Lions. Take care, guys.